Uh, southbound I-75 has reopened after a suspected drunk driver crashes into a construction site. This morning, that driver drove onto the Rouge River Bridge, crashing into metal sheeting. As our Paula Tutman reports, northbound traffic was also shut down. This was as crews spent about an hour removing that SUV. I'll tell you what's incredible. That driver didn't get killed and didn't kill anyone else either. And only our cameras, including our very specialized high aerial view mass cam, were on site to catch all of the drama. Take a look at these images. You're looking at an SUV on the Rouge River Bridge on I-75 southbound. We had a suspected drunk driver actually drive through the barricades on the southbound side of 75 and become stuck on the Rouge River portion where the freeway was unfinished. Uh, troopers are able to, to get a hold of him and, and get him into custody. Late this morning, only on Local 4, our mass cam caught the delicate dance to hoist the car from the metal sheeting. Now, what you're looking at is really intricate because here's the thing. The material that uh, this driver went onto, that metal sheeting you can see, that's the type of thing that goes down before the concrete gets poured. Um, and incredibly, we learned that that material was just put down yesterday. Had that not been there, this could have been a much different outcome. You can actually see workers laboring under the weight of the tethered vehicle to maneuver it off the railings and the sheeting and onto sturdy weight-bearing concrete to be safely removed. What's most incredible is even when construction work isn't visible, it's still being done. And there are usually workers on that bridge, even on the weekends. Normally, we do night pours where concrete is being poured during the night where there would be people out there. Just incredibly fortunate that no one was on that scene. A security guard actually saw the car careening through the construction site around 530 this morning. First, he thought it was a worker, but then quickly realized it wasn't. That driver missed hitting that security officer, construction barrels, porta johns. Uh, it's very fortunate for the driver of that vehicle, again, to make it that far onto an unfinished portion of the, the freeway without that portion collapsing and sending him down to the Rich River. All told, it's about $50,000 worth of damage. Now, it won't delay the overall construction project, but that sheeting will have to be replaced. And that driver now has a very important appointment with a judge for suspected drunk driving and possibly even restitution. Paula Tutman, Local 4.